Hi YouTubers! Um, you're back in my sewing room, Sewing with Nyler. You remember I did a video a while back and I was showing you what my shop looked like, how I had it all set up? But I'm at the house sewing again and I wanted to show you guys how I converted my bedroom to kind of set up as a, a little small sewing area. So I'm going to show you a few tips in my sewing room that I've done to make sewing life a lot easier. So let me show you some of the things I've done to make my sewing room user friendly. These are the containers that that drink mix comes out of. So what I've done, I have this container. Um, I have extra pins in it. Like you said, I put rubber bands around it here. Um, this container, I've got paper clips in it. And of course, I have more pins. But I'll also show you what I've done is I've taken some of the containers and I cut them out. And like in this one, I've got all my highlighters and I just kind of cut it out. It ain't perfect. See how crooked and everything it is? But it don't matter because it's your sewing room. When I had my little bitty baby grandbabies and they all were on the formula, I took the formula cans and took the um, label off of them. And like in this one, I've got all of my Sharpie markers and all my permanent markers. And in this one, I have... Um, all of my scissors, screwdrivers, and tweezers, you know, all the cutting and utensil type things that I've got in here. And of course, it also stores rubber bands, the straight rubber bands that just wrap around there. And I kept the lid on the bottom. It just helps it from scraping up the table so bad. Also, I may have shown you this before, but this is my handy magnetic pen holder. I love this. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Very neat. Um, also, I keep magnets. My table is metal on the bottom. So I keep handy magnets that, you know, I can use to, you know, pick up pins when I drop them on the floor or on the table. This makes it a lot easier to clean up. And all you can see, I've used, I utilize one corner of this room because I have to share it with my husband. It's half his office, half my sewing room. So you see, I have all of my threads. I have some of them here on the walls. And I have some here on the walls here. And then I have this large one here. It's just a standalone that I keep all of the threads on as well. And then I have one here. And you notice I've got them all color coded. That makes it easier when you're searching for your threads. You've got all your colors together. And like I've got all of my golds and my yellows here, my browns, my blues, my greens, my purples, my burgundies. And over here, you see I got my reds. And also, I utilize cup holders. And I take the cup holders and I put them in the wall here, see? And I put my um, scissors on them, other little tools. And also, I'm going to zoom around and let you see over here as well. And you see where I've got cup holders that are holding on my headset. I love my keep my headset nearby. Got my scissors and my little notes stuck on the wall. And this is where I keep my my needles, a lot of hand needles. Another thing I do in my sewing room is whenever I'm not using my sergers, I use my sewing machine a lot, so I rarely cover it unless, you know, I'm gonna be going away for several days. But when I'm not using my sergers, I make sure I cover them with the a machine cover to keep the dust out and also I use everything I can in my sewing room to make life easier I went to a wedding and this was one of the favors that um, the guest had the uh, wedding party had and they had it stuffed full of candy so I just take it and you know throw coins and um, I might keep my chalk in there so that's another thing that I utilize in my sewing room as well Another thing I use in my sewing room is, this is a cute little coffee cup. It was just one little cup all by itself. Instead of throwing it away, I thought it was so cute. So I put um, safety pins in it. And of course, I also keep chalk in it. I happen to have a tape measure, but I just keep that nearby and it's just handy. Another one of my favorite tools is, um, this is a magnetic bobbin holder and I love this because look da -da, bobbins stay in place this is a must-have if you have a lot of bobbins so I like using this as well 
Of course, I have a lot of bobbins, so when I run out of um, the magnetic holders, I use, this is a, a container that the straight pins or your, your pins came out of, and this is also great for, to be portable as well, and you can just keep the lid on it and it keeps them in place. I also want to show you something else I use to organize my sewing room as well. I love using paper and colored cardstock paper, so I bought this little shelf holder thing from uh, the local office supply store, and it has shelves, and as you can see, my shelves are doubled up like that, because you can, it has little lot of slots where you can put, you know, multiple shelves, because I think it's designed to put papers in, but as you can see, I keep all of my little supplies in here. I keep um, my little grab it tool, and here I got all of my little sticky notes. I'm the sticky note queen, so I love sticky notes, and I love note paper. Um, over here, I have a lot of my paints, um, as you can see. I'm going to show you a craft with this paint, okay? You'll see that. So I keep all of that, and then um, here's where I keep all of my files. And anything that I have to file and put away that day, I kind of stick it right there, so to keep everything organized. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you. So, if you only have a small space in your home, or as in my case, you have a spare bedroom, of course, which I have to share with my husband. I have this side of the room, his office is on the other side. But I make the best of the situation and it works perfectly. So, I hope this was helpful to you. So, go find that sewing space. Happy sewing!